Welcome to How to Play Klaverjassen. This is a trick-taking card game for four players. In order to play Klaverjassen, all you're going to need is a standard 52 card deck that you will cut down to 32 cards and a way to keep score. You're going to cut the deck down to card 7 up through Ace in each suit. That'll make a 32 card deck. Now the rank structure for this game for the non-trump suit is ace 10 meaning ace is the highest then 10 then king queen jack and then nine eight seven and the ranking changes a little bit for the trump suit so diamonds is trump in this example and jack moves straight to the top so it goes jack nine ace 10 king queen eight seven and that only happens to the trump suit. To set up for the game, determine the dealer, shuffle the cards, and deal eight to each player. Traditionally, the cards are dealt in packets of three, two, and then three. We're gonna play that the dealer is here at the bottom of the screen, and it is the player seated left of the dealer that must choose trump for the round. We'll have player one choose spades. Now let's go ahead and get everybody's hand organized with that trump suit chosen. All right, each player has their hand ready to go. Now the player who chose trump also leads the first trick. Now remember, the object of this game is to capture as many points as possible each round. Cards have a value of their own, but there are also bonus points earned when a trick is composed of certain card combinations. And we'll talk about that at the end. For now, we're gonna focus on how trick play works. So player one leads the first trick with an ace of hearts. There are some rules that must be followed regarding trick play. First and foremost, following players must follow suit if they can. So player two has some hearts, so they can choose which heart they wish to play. Player two threw out their queen of hearts and play passes to player three. Again, they must follow suit if they can. And player three has a couple hearts. They went ahead and threw out the 10, hoping to give their team some more points here. And then they pass play to the final player. So now player four, the dealer, gets to finish off the trick. And again, they must follow suit if they can and they have a seven and a nine so they're going to go ahead and throw out the seven the highest card in the suit that was led or if played the highest trump card wins the trick there is no trump in this trick so the ace is the highest and the ace wins the trick the trick winner collects the cards and they lead the next trick the trick winner leads the seven of diamonds now again, players must follow suit if they can. Player two has the ace and the eight of diamonds, so they're gonna go ahead and play that ace, try to catch the trick. They play the ace and play passes to player three, who has the nine and king of diamonds, and they're gonna go ahead and play the nine. And finally, our dealer here at the bottom of the screen will follow suit with the jack of diamonds. The Ace of Diamonds wins the trick. And one thing I want to mention here, when collecting the tricks, it's important to keep them organized. Um, make sure to keep uh, the tricks separate because at the end of the round, you're going to go through and count up any bonus points earned for the cards that are in that trick. There are a few rules governing what a player is able to do if they are unable to follow suit. So we're gonna start off this trick with the King of Hearts. Player three is able to follow suit. They can pick between the eight and the jack. They play the eight of hearts, and now player four must play their nine of hearts. Player one is unable to follow suit. Now the rule is, if you cannot follow suit, you must play a trump card to the trick. So player one can pick between their nine, their king, 
and their queen. The queen of spades, since it's trump, wins the trick. Trick winner collects the cards, keeps the trick organized and separate from previously captured tricks, and then they lead the next trick. Player one leads the new trick with the nine of spades. This is a trump suited card and it is the second highest ranking card for the round. Only the jack is better. Now there's a special rule to follow when trump is played to the trick. So when trump is led, other players not only must follow suit, but they also must beat the trump card if they can. So here the nine of spades is led, forcing out the jack of spades from somebody's hand. Play passes and player two is going to play their seven of spades. Player three does have the jack of spades and they must play it because they have to beat the nine and that is the only option they have. So they play the jack of spades. Now the final player here at the bottom of the screen cannot beat the trick but they still must follow suit if they can. So they're going to go ahead and play their 10 of spades. The jack wins the trick, player three collects the trick, and then they will lead next. They choose to lead the trick with the jack of hearts. Player four cannot follow suit. If a player cannot follow suit, they must trump the trick if they can. This player has the trump suited ace, so they must play it. If they had some other spades in their hand, they could choose um, as long as they trump the trick. If a player does not have any trump suit cards, then they can play whatever they like. Now that a trump card has been played, following players who cannot follow suit must not only play trump, but also try to beat the ace if they can. So we already know that the jack and the nine have been played. Nobody is gonna be able to beat this ace, but they still have to either follow the lead suit or play a trump. If they don't have any of the lead suit or any trump cards, they can play anything else from their hand. Player one does have the king of spades. It is the only trump card they have. They must play it because they cannot follow suit. Player two cannot follow suit and they do not have any trump. So they can play any card they want from their hand. And they're gonna go ahead and play this eight of diamonds. The ace of spades wins the trick. They collect the cards and lead the next one. And play like that continues until all of the tricks have been collected. Now let's review very quickly. When a card is led, following players must follow suit if they can. If they're unable to follow suit, then they must trump the trick. If a player cannot follow suit, and if they cannot trump the trick, they can play any card they want. If a trump suited card is led to the trick, following players must try to beat it if they can. If a player has played a trump card to the trick because they cannot follow suit, any other players who also cannot follow the lead suit must try to beat that trump suited card. Let's go ahead and move on to how to keep score. When tallying up your score for the round, non-trump cards are valued like this. Aces are worth 11, tens are worth 10, kings are worth four, queens are worth three, jacks are worth two, and then the nines, eights, and sevens are worth zero. When tallying up your score for captured trump suit cards, the jack is worth 20, the nine is worth 14, and then the rest is the same. Aces are 11, tens are 10, kings are four, queens are three, and then eights and sevens are worth nothing. Not only will teams earn points based on the cards they capture, but they'll also earn bonus points based on the composition of the tricks that they capture. Again, that's why we keep tricks organized off to the side. You keep them separate. You don't just throw them in one big pile. There are seven different bonus tricks that can happen. Some of them are extremely unlikely. And apparently this particular scoring system is kind of a carryover from an older game, but just due to tradition, it's stuck around. The first trick 
bonus possibility is a run of three in the same suit. 20 bonus points for the eight, nine, and 10 in the trick. When scoring bonus tricks, the ranking of the cards goes back to normal. So even though during the game, the 10 is under the ace, when it comes to uh, scoring a run, it goes back to its normal place. So eight, nine, 10 is a run. So here we have a run of four in the same suit. 50 bonus points for this run of four. When a trick contains a trump suited run that has the queen and king of the trump suit, that earns the team 40 bonus points. So here the run is queen, king, ace. You have the queen and the king in it. It's trump suited, that's 40 bonus points. A trump suited run of four that includes the queen and king earns that team 70 bonus points. When the trick has the trump suited queen and king, but there is no run, that earns the team 20 bonus points. If a trick contains four aces, kings, or queens, that earns the team 100 bonus points. And this is the first of two highly unlikely trick compositions. And finally, if a trick has four jacks, that earns the team 200 bonus points. Again, this is extremely unlikely. Once the score has been tallied for the round, collect the cards and deal passes left. For a nice snappy game, continue playing rounds until one team reaches 500 points or more. For a longer game, play 16 rounds. The team with the higher score at the end of the 16th round wins the game.